mga statements si Mayor regarding sa paglalagay ng synthetic white sand sa Manila Bay environmental groups have been saying na maaaring magkaroon po ng cross-contamination and possible effect kapag may bagyo kapag natabunan. And similar question po from James Relativo, Filipino Star Mayor. Maliban sa issue na marumi pa rin ang tubig and the high cost of the synthetic white sand, may ilang nagsasabi na kapag nag-storm surge, bumagyo or high tide, baka ma-wash away lang. At may ilang nagsasabi rin po na pang-esthetic lang ito rather than nakakatulong sa clean up. One, again, we thank you, Department of Environment and Natural Resources. Thank you very much sa suporta ng national government in heeding the call of the Supreme Court. For he, in the Mandamus case, filed before the Supreme Court, the Supreme Court already decided that we, we, in the local government unit should attend to clean up the Manila Bay. So, ibig sabihin, lahat ng bahagi ng lokal na pamahalaan na nakapalibot sa Manila Bay in the south side, Patangas, Tamite, uh, Paranaque, Pasay, Manila. On the north side, Nagotas, Malabon, Pulahan, Pampanga, Pampanga, at Pataan. So, may mandamos. And cleaning up Manila Bay will entail a lot of costs. And fortunately, uh, when I assume office, uh, alam ko na may programa ang DNR. Kaya po ako ang sa Manila. Kasi kung makikita ninyo, may mga ilang istruktura na pinayagan namin ilagay sa Roas Boulevard at Service Road. No? Itong mga makinang ito ay magbibigay ng malinis na tubig papuntang Manila Bay. Nagaling sa Manila, San Juan, Quezon City, and all the way to the east side. No? Dahil ito ay merong uh, what you call it, STP, uh, treatment facility na tapirasi ng lumang panahon, yung mga tubig na warami, umutungo sa Manila. Kaya bagay na aming pinagpapasalamat kay Secretary Simato and to the DNA family. And of course, it was based on the directive made by President Rodrigo Roma Duterte. Kaya, Ibis na kami ang gumastos, lokal na pamala, malaking katipil sa pamala. And in our own little way, on the sanction office, makita niya naman everyday lahat ng solid material, or solid waste material na nasa tubig ng Manila Bay, ng Baseco, ng Creek, ay araw-araw may itinalaga na tayo mga what you call Estero Rangers, uh, Mandaragat, Maseco Beach Ranger, and so on. So, para yung effort to see. Kaya, national government, no. Yeah. Ito po ako ngayon sapagkat uh, they went beyond to the plan. So, really, make it more uh, pipeline. And we agree to that. We support DNA. Now, with regard to the claim na yung ilalagay na buong hangin ay makapaminsala sa kapanigilan. It is not up for me to identify scientifically na ito ay nakakasira ng panikasan. I think DNA on its own knows it better to protect our environment. I don't think a person in this right mind in a particular agency or government who's supposed to be taking care of our environment will pollute our environment. Yan ang presumption. For now, 
hanggat wala na nga siguro uh, nakapagsasakat o nakapagtapatibang sa claim ng ilang may presumption of regularity. So, if that is the case, we continue to support the And the city of Manila is grateful to the Kasi alam niya naman yan dati, dati nga dyan, may mga politiko, tinakapong pa yung basura, tapong politiko. <laughs> But for the first time in history, hindi ano na lang tayo, no? nag-bibish lang tayo sa kakto. For the first time in history, somebody attended to Manila Bay Pio or pagdumi ng tubig sa Manila Bay. Now, uh, the national government, Rubiana, the Secretary Simat, and the local government in our own little way. Ano yung kapasidad namin? Tinutulong namin. Ano yung kapasidad nila pinagawa? And we're very excited. Because, totoo ang madumi yung Manila. Totoo. Kaya nga nagkaroon ng handouts. Kasi nakatunayan eh, ng mga sayang TV. O ngayon, may ginawang pagsasaayos at paglilinis. Yun, tingnan natin. For the meantime, mukhang madumi pa rin yung tubig. Ha? Dahil ngayon pa lang talaga tinigyan ng atensyon ng dalawang pamala na siyang government at government. Kaya, yung development, we continue to support. And we will continue to do our part as local government unit, not only because there is a Mantamos case, because the people of Manila deserves better things from its government. So, we we'll draw it out. Kung isa pa rin naman, na napatunayan, na itong mga inilagay na ito, no, ay uh, makapaminsala, I think, DNR knows it better than me. Kaya nga sila tinatawag na Department of Environment and Natural Resources. Sila ang nangangalaga sa atin. Mayigil na rin oh, na may nagpapantay na tao. So, wala naman tayo yung ano doon. Gusto nga natin yun. In fact, marami tayo na re-resolve rito dahil sa pagbabantay ng tao. So, the next action would be If I may suggest, is to really scrutinize the, uh, we call this, the supposed uh, danger of that particular sun to our environment. But for the meantime, they have the support of the city of Manila. And we are grateful. Thank you. Now, Siyensya na po. Dibalikan ko lang po yung kanina. Medyo nanginginig po naman yun sa galit, sa ginawa ng 